Some few weeks ago, I broke a story on this channel about a governor, a southwestern governor, in, in fact, who lost his vehicle. And we are getting to find out right now that that person is Sheyi Makinde. You guys, are you shocked? <laughs> please, if you haven't seen that video, please go back to my channel, go and search for that video and watch it. Before we delve right into the details of today's news, if this is your first time here, you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Most importantly, click on the like button down below. This is the only way you can show support for this channel. And by showing support for this channel, YouTube would be able to know that people are really interested in this content and they will recommend it to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Earlier, the prosecutor, Captain Akin Akinloye, had told the court that the duo allegedly that the duo allegedly conspired together to commit the offense. And Iyagaku Chief Magistrate's Court on Thursday in Ibadan granted bail to two men who allegedly stole Governor Shei Makinde's yet to be registered. Toyota Oma bus valued at 28.5 million naira. The defendants are De Pojujo, 37, and Shongola De Ola Kunle, 41, whose house addresses were not provided, were arraigned on charges of conspiracy and stealing, to which they pleaded not guilty. The chief magistrate, Mrs. Olabisi Ogun Komi, admitted the defendants to bail in the sum of 5 million naira each, with two shorties each. Ogunkomi Ogun said one of the shorties must be a blood relation to each of the defendants. She thereafter adjourned the matter till October 23 for a hearing. Earlier, the prosecution, Akim Akinloye, had told the court that the duo allegedly conspired together to commit the offence. Akinloye said the defendant had on February 20 at about 9.30 p.m. at the Akolaba government reservation area in Ibadan, allegedly stolen the bus valued at 28.5 million naira. He said the offense contravened section 390, subsection 10A, of the criminal code laws of Oyo State 2000, the news agency of Nigeria NAN reports that anyone found guilty of the offence is liable to a jail term of between five and seven years in prison. You all let have your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. These people, they have mine though, because how do you steal a, a boss, a brand new boss for that matter, you know, belonging to the state government? Is it that they did not know it's belonging to the state government or they have the audacity to that extent? <laughs> to try and you know they maybe pr probably they thought that they would go scot-free and they would not be dictated imagine <laughs> you all like i said let's have your thoughts and opinions in the comments section like this video subscribe do all of the good stuff i'll see you all in my next video guys bye for now